But again, I'm just going to keep playing. Mwahaha. If I do cut it here, then yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye! Welcome back, or let's keep going. Whichever one applies. It is kind of nice to just sort of bulk record these. Because knowing me, I can get lazy and bad about recording sometimes. But let's see if this is the end of the dungeon or if there's a whole other section. I have no idea. Daddy! How'd you solve that puzzle with the wind crest and... The Yggdrasil system was constructed to rejuvenate the environment of Fulgaria. It was the collective efforts of science, magic, the wisdom of Hyades, and technology spanning over a hundred year period. And that fateful day, ten years ago, Lee Halt, Malak, Melody, and the rest of us were to have accomplished a triumph to go down in history. But the outcome proved otherwise. The activated Yggdrasil did not supply the Earth with energy, but did the exact opposite. It began devouring the remaining energy of the planet from its roots. I'm sure you've witnessed the surrounding environment of Yggdrasil. It's all foresty and stuff, yeah. The flush greenery, the deep forests, the crystal clear lakes. That beauty's a sweet tune that can only be played by sin. Ten years ago, there were no wasteland or desert seas on Filgaia. Ten years ago. Man. What? And no one remembers? Clive might. Uh, Gallows might. It is true that the Great War of Ages Past has left battle scars from the use of science and magic. However, plenty of verdure did cover the lands, and the oceans were blue. The truth is, it was the Yggdrasil system and the Council of Seven that drove Filgaia to its deathbed. Daddy, no! That can't be true! The Yggdrasil system was out of control. It consumed all the energy it could from Filgaia. The generator couldn't handle the load, and ultimately exploded. I thought all seven of us perished, but... It appears Lee Halt, Malak, and Melody miraculously survived and restored the system to its current state in the last ten years. How about yourself? Damn it! The Hermes Trismag Trismagitus! <laughs> uh, pretty clever, Lee Halt. He may have fallen, but you're still one heck of a programmer. Gematria, Notaricon, Tamura. No, damn it! How can I break into the system? At this very moment, just at the time of the accident, <laughs> Idrisil is still ingesting the last remaining energy of Filgaia. The area surrounding Idrisil is the only place where water and verdure are preserved, because that is where all the planet's life force is focused. We can't afford to wait any longer. Hi. Hey, let go, what's your problem? This is the terminal cable that connects to the Yggdrasil system. The makeup of this machine differs considerably from other arms. It's the same system as your Arrogant Lam. Yam? It is an arm that only you can operate. Which is his gun, by the way, I believe that's true. Squeeze this terminal cable tightly and yearn for Fulgaia! Huh? I know you're desperate, but give me a break, mister. Do as I say. We don't have time. Like this? Yes. Just as when you're aiming the Ergat Lamb, envision the system as an extension of yourself. Not a mass of iron, but a part of your body. Jet. Communicate your spirit into the system structure. Just as you do when you interface with the Ergat Lamb. You're in Filfilgaia, not the planet covered in wasteland and desert seas, but the Filgaia filled with verdure and oceans. Filled with verdure and oceans? What, like the surrounding area of Yggdrasil? Not an artificial place like that. You know it as a Filgaia, back when it was full of life. It's a Filgaia that only you know, a Filgaia from your memory. 
Where am I? What the? Why does it look so familiar? Where have I seen this? From a distant memory? Memory? I don't have any memories. I don't need them. How can I have a memory I don't even know about? Why? Why? What's going on? Who the hell am I? We were able to override the system. The reprogramming worked. Jet, Jet, are you all right? What the hell was that? Why do I have memories of a previous Filgaia? I want answers, mister. Who the hell am I? All right, Shadow. You are a life born on Filgaia. Are you not satisfied with that? It appears to be from above. It's probably from the top floor, where the core generator is isolated. Or located, I mean. But the system override should have made it in time. Daddy, wait! Hmm. Some real mysteries going on here. What's this? A large console is placed in front of a strange, organic-looking sphere floating inside some kind of liquid. I have no idea what it is, but I sense evil from it. Ooh, ooh. Now let's get a little scan from Jet. Let's see what is going on. More of these. It's like this dungeon is not over. Ooh. Let's see. Well, what do we got here? Can we step on it? Oh boy, we got one of these, huh? If only it was so easy. Oop. Oop. I think I just put it back to this state. Hmm. All right, well. for a second, I think. <laughs> There's like a similar puzzle to these blocks that's in Spyro. And it's like, so shoot, I should be a master of these now, right? No, not quite. Three, four. I might have a solution. Probably not, but I want to believe. Yeah, that just does that. Step on the center ones again, or I mean these, these ones. It turns it just back to this, right? Yeah, it, it totally does. Let's try with the corners then. Okay, if only I could get into the middle. Now let's try with these. Not quite. Huh. I don't want to step on the middle one because that one's hard to get to, you know? If I step on these corner ones, the center one will not change at all. And I think we do want it to change. If I do this again, it's probably just going to reset the whole puzzle because I did this already. Yeah. I need them all to be red. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. This for reasons. What if I did this for reasons? What if I did this. Yeah, this isn't terribly helpful, is it? Step on it a bunch till it works. <laughs> mm. 
So close. So very close. Hmm. Yeah, that wouldn't quite work. So unclose. The opposite of so very close. No, we'd want we'd want them all to be red, so this is like close-ish. I don't exactly know what I'm doing here if it wasn't obvious. Hmm. See, this seems like a good place to look at. Let's see. Hmm. We didn't have it an even light, but we don't want that. Is it just the corners? Do I just need to do that? Haha! <laughs> Alright. It worked out eventually. I got it. <laughs> the generator. The core generator has been gouged out. Does that mean there is someone else within Yggdrasil besides us and them? We cannot carry out the download procedure in this state. Who would want to steal the Yggdrasil's generator? This is a project bestowed by Hyades, understood only by us. Do you mean to say there is someone else who has access to the Forgotten Wisdom? Lee Halt, what did you? What the? <laughs> it is all over for us. All our hopes have been severed. There is no future. However, Werner, there is still one duty we must carry out. That is revenge. I was always envious of you, your work, the fruits of your research. You were always one step ahead of me. And you even took from me Ekaterina, the only woman I ever lost my heart to. I won't let you say you didn't know. By stepping all over me, you were flaunting your superiority. You did it all for self-gratification. That's ridiculous. I... This time, I thought for sure I would be able to surpass, uh, surpass you with my work. Never did I imagine you would come back from the dead to stand in my way of evolving Filgaia. Stop being so selfish. Don't force your distorted reasons and desires onto my excuses onto my father. The true reason you're so warped is because you're just weak and insecure. The offspring of Ekaterina. Too bad you look just like your father. Your mother was beautiful. It's all over. We have nothing to lose, so let's get started. Even if my body should decay from the panacea fluid, I will at the very least carry out my revenge. I do not care if I am nothing but a fleeting shooting star. I do not need it tomorrow. We shall fight solely for the moment. Boy, oh boy. All three of them now. Um, Jeepers Creepers. Alright, we do need to scan them all again if we want to do any of that, but it might. It's probably not really worth doing that. It is probably worth doing this, though. Alright, Jet. Like, hmm. Who would we go after first? I don't know. Maybe Melody? Do it all in the order we started with? Like, let's see. Would Melody poison everyone? Would Malak confuse everyone? Would Lee Halt, you know, revenge damage everyone? In that case, it might be good to go against Malak first, is my thinking. I don't know if any of that's true. But that might be what we want to do. Let's attack Malak. Yeah, let's give it a try. See what happens. Yeah. Alright, 
used a basic attack there. And so did he. And so will she. Indeed. Alright, it's plenty damaging. Kaboom! Yeah, everyone has so much FP. Is that like really what our levels look like right now? Uh, I can't tell from here. But it's kind of incredible. Alright, we're still... Yeah, lower than ever on these consumables, so... Again, I'd really rather not use the full carrot if I don't have to. Just attack Malik. Jet... Yeah, let's go ahead and attack Malik. Gallows, see if you can't heal a Jet. Make him all better. Let's do a lock on it, Malik. Nice critical. Yeah, they go, like, right in the middle of all of us. It doesn't look like Jet's gonna die or anything, so that's alright. That would have been my biggest concern there, so no worries. Yummy! Alright. Uh, yeah, let's keep on keeping on. Keep going after Malik. Yeah, I can't really scan them. Or, like, bring up their stats, which means I can't really tell when Fragile wears off, sadly. But I think it's a good idea to keep going after Malik. Gallows, I think you should, yeah, stay on healing duties. Someone's gotta do it. And you attack Malik. All right. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Swoosh, teleport again, I think. All right, that's a lot of damage to Jet. That's a deadly amount of damage to Jet. Well, yeah, I'm glad the heal is not wasted or anything. Very nice. Alright, so let's do a thing. Let's uh, take his fiery rage. Let's give it to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll give it to Clive. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got enough FP for it. It should be fine. Virginia. Let's see. I don't even remember who Clive attacked, but I think it makes sense to go after Melody next. I think. And how about you heal? Virginia needs it most. And Clive, you use Revive on Jet at the very end of our turn. So that, like, no one can just attack him again and put him straight back down, you know? Rude, but fine. Again, rude, but it's fine. go. Alright. Virginia, I think for this turn I could have you heal everybody. Um, just a heal berry will probably be fine. Our last heal berry. It should be okay if Jet goes down. I mean, like, Jet could go down with just a heal berry's worth of healing to 601. But I don't know. I, I think it's fine. I think we'll go for it. Gallows, we don't really need you to heal this time. Right, you attack and get some FP. Clive, more or less the same, I guess. Just, yeah. Happy day. Yeah, 469. This is 471. I'm not positive if those attacks are getting stronger or not. Virginia... Like, yeah, again, we need to get FP. Gallows, do some heal duty. On Jet, needs it most still. Clive, yeah. Yeah, you'd best defend yourself. That's a good okay crit. 
Right, that did help for sure, the defending. Oof, Jet very much needs healing now. Oh no! We should be good to go. Uh, it, when I say that, I include the charging batteries thing. We should be good to go. <laughs> Chat, oh, you need to reload and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you'd best do it. Gallows. Hold on. 320? I'm... Maybe the maybe the <laughs> battery being low completely wiped my memory. But uh, let me actually back out. And let me get this back to you. Sorry. But it's like, wait, wasn't he low run HP than that? I don't even remember. Let's see, stay discard. Let me just we can counter attack. That might be worth doing something. Sure. All right, jet. Yeah. Auto reload would actually be really nice with you, but I doubt it means anything now, actually. High critical hit. Might as well help everyone out. Luck boost. This probably doesn't mean anything right now. Hopefully. Alright. Gallows. Defender. If we can get... Yeah, do some of that. I don't know if attack blocker means anything here, but yeah, sure. Five, you... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that. Now then, attack. You need to reload. How about you heal Jet? And you should spend your FP while you got it. Because if you go down, you lose it. Rude. Also rude, but, you know, it's still fine. She is still not down, and that is a problem for me. All right, Virginia, I would love you to get your last bits of FP right away, because everyone's going to need healing again. I mean, Gal's weak at extension heal, so that's actually not as bad of a problem as I would have thought. Fragile, you could do... Being somewhat silly... I'm, I guess I'm going to wait on it. So I think Melody must be close to down, right? That was my thought, anyway. Extension to heal everybody. This is what we should be doing. We should also do extension Valiant on everyone, really. But whatever. We are rolling with it. Because I make good decisions sometimes. Alright, good. She's down. No. Don't look at me. Don't look at my ugly self. Jeez, Clive. You really did a number on her. So just Lee Halt now. Oh, my tummy. All right, Virginia. Yeah, I think it's probably best if you do heal. Yeah, yeah, because you and Clive are really low. I think it just makes sense to do it. Fragile, Gallows, Extension, Valiant on everyone now. And Clive, yeah, take advantage of that and start shooting. Yeah, we really need to take a trip back to the Secret Garden, see what berries we can pick up at this point. I'm glad we came here with berries. And not the opposite, I suppose. Yes. So Fragile meant nothing. Rude. Yum, yum, yum. I want to work Gallo's FP right back up to healing range, though, despite that uh, Valiant. I want to keep everyone healthy. Right, yeah, reload. Attack. Yes, attack. Clive, why don't you go ahead and just lock on attack? Rude. Right, 
attack, attack. You still cannot heal, so attack. Reload. Ah, that did it, actually. It's over. My demise is the death of this planet. <laughs> Gua! Get out of here. Hey, a full carrot. Uh, trophy earned. Like no tomorrow. See, because I believe, just from reading guides and stuff, or like the table of contents of them at the very least, I believe this is the end of Act 2. Chapter 2? And there are like four chapters in total? Acts in total? I don't know. So it is a big stepping moment. That is a big have a trophy moment. Let's press the X button. Yum. Level 37 and 36. Without any hope for tomorrow, you can't win for today. Hmm. It's really sad when you have to hurt people just because you can't accept the future. You're not going to say, it's all over, are you? I understand that it was you and the Council of Seven who made this world into a wasteland. And that the tragic accident happened just ten years ago. It was only ten years ago. Why doesn't anyone remember? The environment was withering into a wasteland right before our eyes. Don't you think it's odd that no one noticed such a serious incident ten years ago? I believe it was eight years ago that the professor and I began our research into the cause of the planet's decay. At that time, we were trying to figure out when the decay actually began. Oh. If the sudden decay of the planet occurred ten years ago, the professor and I wouldn't have been researching such a thing. Could it be that the moment of decay has been erased from the memories of all people on Vilkaya? And one more thing. Why do you keep the truth locked up inside your memory? Your memory alone! You are under the influence of Lee Halt's nanomachines. I have given you antibodies to ward off the effects, but you must rest for them to take full effect. You fought well, so you must rest. Even a drifter must rest her wings. Daddy! Dang it, Daddy. Looks like we were all able to escape from that battle. But we used such excessive reckless power, our bodies may disintegrate at any moment. What have we accomplished? What will we, what will we leave behind? Ultimately, nothing. As the ones entrusted with the word of the gods, there is nothing so regretful. Oh my, could it be that... It's downloading. Did we make it in time? It's a miracle. It's a miracle, but the fleeting sparkle still lacks the energy to bring forth the entity. Is that all you blokes can say, calling everything a miracle? Janice, you're alive, but how? During the battle with the drifters, I pretended I was dead, allowing me time to fission my body. What the Drifters thought they defeated, and what you thought was dead, was just my duplicate figure. So, even we were fooled by the sacrifice's allegiance? I will not let him betray us. Gaius, crush him! Kanda, Estrada, Ama! It's not working, pale face. Out of magic, huh? Gaius can't help you now. If we were to exploit the sacrifice, 
not the other way around. The sacrifice bested us all. Sacrifice, sacrifice, shut up! What do you mean by that? You are the ones I used as prey in order for me to become the ruler. You can all die in peace now. The future of this planet lies in the good hands of Sir Janus. The sacrifice, is it here? Huh, what's the slug doing here? <laughs> you blokes cracked me up. You shortened your lives just to summon the slug. So it is you. You must be the sacrifice. Are you calling me your sacrifice? Whatever, Slughead. I've never seen the likes of you, but it's time for me to rid this world of demons. It sure feels nice to do good for the world. Interesting. You just get to watch them fight it out. I get it. You don't want to be sliced to death, but clobbered to death by my bare hands. Why, I'd be more than happy to take up your request. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Oh, now what? You raise your hand to deliver my final blow. Why don't you surprise me? The Dark Spear. It is time to return to your rightful owner. Ah! I don't get it. I don't get it at all. You were the chosen sacrifice from the very beginning. Every time you would swing the dark spear, you were gathering energy from the inside. You must have felt a massive life force energy when the dark spear pierced the guardian's altar. That torrent of energy I know you felt it run through your body via the Dark Spear. With it in hand, you have not become a formidable being. You have been bewitched by the Dark Spear to become the sacrifice. You played an impeccable fool. So this foolish lapdog was just meant for fodder. You can take pride in knowing that you shall not be slain by the Dark Spear ever again. You can boast about that in the other world. Who's this? There is no other world. That's why I chose to be the ruler of this world. Uh oh. Are you the ones who have summoned me to this land once again? I am Siegfried. I have returned to wage war on Filgaia and its spawn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll save here. <laughs> hmm. Um. Jeepers. Alright, well, I've been recording for two hours. And that seems like a good place to stop. Uh, hmm. 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 We got something going on there. Yeah, it usually does sink here, doesn't it, right? But it's just a whistle right now. Hmm. Well. Whatever happens. Um, yeah. I'll see you next time for whatever it is. At this case, probably next week? I've been pretty regular on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And this is probably going to be like three episodes after I cut it up, so... Uh, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. For the end of chapter two, 
which was now for the beginning of chapter 3. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.